Okay guys, it is time. This PVC plastic that is on our greenhouse has got to go. The days are getting so hot and the UV is extreme. I think it's about 11 or 12 today that this plastic is now no longer viable. It's been about three days since we took our greenhouse cover off and the reason we have waited this long is due to the weather so it's been very windy these last couple of days it's actually been probably for a couple of weeks and it's still windy this morning however I have got the day off and we are slightly overcast today and I just thought today is the day so I have got two rolls of my 30% EUV protection shade cover and we are going to attempt to do this solo today. So I do think this is probably more of a two person job. However, Sven's obviously working and I just think we've waited long enough. So I'm gonna give this a good old try. So because of the length of our shade cloth, it's 10 meters by 3.6 meters. And I think from memory, the greenhouse needed to be seven by seven. So because I'm doing it on my own, I'm going to see if I can do two pieces over the top and meet in the middle. Uh, I think that will just be easier for me to work with. I'm also not the tallest person, so I don't know that I could comfortably do it halfway and meet on that long middle beam. So we're going to see how this goes. was the quickest easiest way to cut that cooler room we bought this it's specifically made for shade cloth but wow I'm pretty impressed because that's gone through one two four layers of shade cloth so something else we found were these shade cloth fixings and nails so they're just little round discs that have a nail in them and we're gonna give that a go this time around because whatever we did previously didn't work very well i do think though because the shade cloth is breathable when we do have these winds that we've been having it shouldn't sway as much as the wind is already proving problematic it's not even that windy it's just a bit of a breeze i'm not even going to unroll this i know it's three meters wide just over so i'm just going to start nailing it in and hope for the best at this stage i think that's probably going to be the easiest way then to throw it over first or even unraveling it first So just to make sure everything stays fairly tight, I think I am going to put at least the first cable tie in on this first bar. So when I'm pulling on the shade cloth, it's not pulling the whole thing out of a line. <laughs> That's the last thing I would need. To go a little skew on the bottom so i think i'm gonna give it a go and try and just throw this shade cloth over and maybe put one or two on the other side and that way it should hold it in place
wanted to do this in the wind is because it just blows everywhere. Now, I'm not sure what I've done with the measurements, but come and have a look at just how much I've over measured somehow. Looks like a big old curtain. Anyway, not going to nail the side in just yet. So I've just put some pot plants on there just to hold it down. But as you can see, it's just trying to blow away on me. Don't let the overcast weather fool you. It is like sweltering out here. And we've got some promising looking clouds of rain, but we haven't had rain in four months. So what generally happens is the wind blows it away. I think I'm going to cable tie this bit just so that when I'm pulling again, it doesn't make it skew, seeing as that's what it's wanting to do. I've gotten a tiny bit carried away <laughs> and I've just started cable tying the entire first tube but it's probably a good thing just to make sure everything sort of stays tight and aligned however I can't reach so frustrating and we keep saying we need to get a step better we still haven't got one and we're always finding reasons why we need one I've got this little plastic kitchen one and I guess it's just gonna have to do it's hopefully enough to let me just reach that top bar Okay, so I have cable tied that first hoop. Still looks a bit like curtains. <laughs> so now I'm just going to continue to hammer the fixings in on the bottom of this side and then pull it tight on the other side and do the same. As you can tell, wind is picking up again. Not fun. I may actually pull all the way to the end and then backtrack. Hmm. do not hammer in upside down we've gone fairly straight with our fixings and then whoop a drunk one so Sven came out just to check on how I was going and he noticed that from a distance my <laughs> line of finishings was just on the up and getting worse and worse so I've gone and pulled them all out and redone a few and we are looking much much better I'm actually just going to go and put in a few cable ties just to keep everything nice and tight and then probably get started on the other side before even thinking of adding that second piece. Sven has been popping out every now and then just to check on my progress and he's very quickly helped me just pull the material quite tight so I could get a couple of cable ties in and I must say so far it's so good. Right, I'll just press on and try and get these cable ties in at minimum and yeah see how we go.
let's do this. I think it'll be a lot quicker than side one. So off we go. Okay, we are in the home stretch, you guys. So I have done all the cable ties. I have also trimmed all of them. And you're never gonna believe what happened. <laughs> I realized I had put all of these fixings in backwards. So they should be, they should look like that. So I then went and redid all of them. Whew, I am exhausted. Okay, so I'm not really sure what happened with my measuring, but as you can tell, somehow I've got way too much overhang. So I'm just gonna use this trusty little tool and cut that off. And then on this side of the bottom, you'll notice there's quite a bit of overhang, but that was deliberate. I did that just in case my measurements were off. So I've got to go and trim that off as well. And then we're pretty much done. And I'll quickly walk you through some of the things that I managed to do today on my own. So that actually worked quite well because of the flat edge. I could just press against the plank and it gave me, I guess, a guide. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna go with the hoops, but you know, it is what it is. Actually going better than I thought. I'm actually using the inside of the pole as a guide and pressing against that. There you have it guys, it's done. I am so happy and so proud of myself on how this came out. Okay, so I'll take you through a couple of things that I did. So we haven't got any doors on here yet. We are a little undecided on that front. So I've for now just wrapped the shade cloth around the hoop. I have on the inside reinforced some of the shade cloth with a few cable ties and then if you'll remember that floppy sort of join so what I've done and it's not perfect but I have just again used a few cable ties just to keep it tight as best as possible um, I think you'll agree it looks a whole lot better than it did when it was just like waving about So yeah, that's pretty much it. Would I recommend doing this on your own? Hell no. <laughs> um, it was a lot of work. It's very hot today. I think the UV, as I said, is going to get up there to about 11. It probably is already. Um, it's meant to be 29 today. And I think the way I'm feeling, we're probably even early 30s. That's degrees Celsius. So yes, I think the plants that we will eventually put in here are going to get a serious reprieve from this really hot humid summer that we get i can already feel the difference just standing in here um and with not having the door and that plastic the breeze that's coming through here is fantastic so guys i really hope you've enjoyed this video watching me struggle a little bit but also accomplishing changing our hothouse into a shade house it has been a project that has been way overdue and i just decided today was the day